Today's video is all about tattoos and piercings. A few of you guys have complimented on my tattoos throughout my videos and um, I just wanted to go a little bit more detail because I don't know about you all but I really love when people explain their tattoos. Some of them have meanings and some of them don't. I don't personally feel like every tattoo needs a meaning. I'm not going to go into any particular order. I'm just going to go ahead and state the obvious ones first. My most recent tattoo is this hibiscus flower that I got. I love it so much. I am from the Dominican Republic, by the way, guys. So the hibiscus flowers, the hibiscus flower <laughs> is all over the islands, and I think it identifies my childhood growing up in the islands. But yeah, I love this tattoo. It's honestly one of my favorites. The arrow tattoo was pretty random. <laughs> For all of you guys who know Andrew or not, Andrew and I are really good friends. He got a tattoo by a gentleman named Roly. Roly's here in Orlando as well. He's a really known artist. He ended up getting that tattoo by him. So I just ended up driving out there. And there was another tattoo artist there who wasn't tattooing at all. And um, while Andrew was getting tattooed, I just ended up getting tattooed by this guy. This one particular, that arrow was just random. And yeah, so I like spine tattoos. The one below it is in Arabic. Um, I have Lebanese descent. So happy be here to do it to all my people. <laughs> I myself think I'm extremely blessed and I'm really lucky. So I ended up getting that tattoo by my first tattoo artist. Really random again. One of my friends was getting tattooed and I ended up going and I just ended up getting tattooed. So another tattoo that I have is my finger tattoo. And my finger tattoo is a arrow. And I guess, I don't know if you guys have seen this quote floating around in social medias or maybe the internet, but it, the meaning of it, when I saw it, it was no matter how much life pulls you back, you always move forward. That's something that really means a lot to me because I always move forward no matter what life brings you. You always have to look ahead and keep focused on the good things in life and just keep them moving. To me, the reason that I got it on the inside is because if I'm gonna go to an interview or meet people, I didn't want them to see that I had it. I look, I look a little weird. <laughs> no, 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 okay. I didn't want them to see outside looking in. I just wanted to remind myself when I'm talking to people or anything in general. If I'm talking, I want to see my tattoo. So if I'm talking, I'm like, ooh, I'm talking. You can only see it through me. I'm the only one who sees this tattoo. And yeah, so one of my other tattoos is this one. It's really small font. It was written in cursive, what came to exist. So my best friend Felicia, her name is Felicia, so I'm not making it up, it's not from Fridays. Okay, and we have heard enough by Felicia's. But anyways, when she turned 21, I ended up getting this tattoo with her. And it's like a best friend tattoo. And we both really believe in destiny and I feel like everything that's for you and everything that's meant to be is happening for a reason everything that you're going through is for a reason but it really means a lot not only for our friendship but also because we do believe in the same things such as like destiny like I said before another tattoo that I have is this tattoo it says paraíso paraíso means paradise in Spanish this is Signs of the Taino. That's a type of Indian that used to be in the Caribbean. Another tattoo that I have, it's seven in numerals. There's seven continents and there's seven wonders of the world. And seven is a lucky number. So I'm just like, Dane, maybe seven isn't a coincidence. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Oh, piercings. I have my septum pierced. A reason why I don't really wear my septum on a lot is because I'm really trying to find the right ring, I guess. I really want the thin ones, the really, really thin ones, really me and chic. I really want the only the circle and I cannot find it anywhere. So if you guys know of any places that have like the nice ring, please comment down below and let a girl know because I've been looking everywhere. I've had this for like three years my septum piercing the pain honestly was like one through ten a four it didn't even hurt 
and I don't know if it was maybe the piercer, but it did not hurt. One thing that did happen was I just teared up. And my last tattoo is my first tattoo, which I got way back in the day. And as soon as I turned 18, I ended up getting that tattoo. I was itching for one. <laughs> so Psalm 21 is something that my mom used to make me read or read to me when I was scared. So usually if at night I couldn't sleep at night because I was scared of the dark, I used to just open up the Bible and read this verse. And I, for some reason, thought that I was good. But I just think it's a little cute memory of my mom growing up and a flower because I feel like women should be treated as flowers. When you crumple and damage a flower, it's not the same anymore. It doesn't flourish the same. I feel like every woman should be treated as so and as beautiful as can be. I really don't know where I got that concept. I think it's from Beauty and the Beast. So yeah guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I want to thank you all for subscribing to me on my new subbies. Hi! And all my loyal ones. I really appreciate you guys. I got